Hi guys, I hope you're well. I'm back today with another workout. What we're going to need is our reformer and our box behind us. We're going to start with one red spring for our hip flexor stretch. So you've got one red spring, stand to the right or left of your carriage and just place your left foot, or for my, in my case, my left foot's up against the shoulder rest. Keeping my hips square, I'm just going to send the carriage away. Just get that nice deep stretch through the front of the hips. And I want you to take a nice deep belly breath here. So you're inhaling through the nose and exhaling, releasing that breath. If it feels good, you can start to lift off your left knee and get a deeper stretch again. If it doesn't feel good, just keep the knee down and hold the stretch out there. Just a couple more seconds here. And let's draw that carriage all the way in. We're stepping over to the other side. So your right foot's up against the shoulder rest and left foot's on the side. Send the carriage away. Hips are square. And again, taking that nice deep belly breath. So you're inhaling through the nose. And then exhale. Fully releasing that breath. If you'd like to take it into that deeper stretch, let's start to lift the right knee off and get that stretch through the front. more seconds here and let's draw that carriage all the way in we're going to place on I'm going to place on three red springs and one blue so that's three full springs and one half spring and we're going to lie into our backs heels going to come onto the foot bar just hip width apart make sure that your headrest is nice and flat arms are by your side you can take a nice deep inhale breath here as you exhale, I want you to start to imprint the small of your back into the carriage. Let's start to peel the tailbone off, lift your hips up towards the ceiling and keep opening up through the hip flexors by reaching your knees over the foot bar. Now let's draw your belly button to your spine, roll yourself down one vertebrae at a time and then release the tailbone at the end. And again, inhaling here. Exhale, let's start to peel the tailbone off, lifting the hips up towards the ceiling, slight squeeze through the glutes. And then lower yourself down one vertebrae at a time. Just waking up the spine, warming into the back of the leg. We've got one more here. Let's start to peel the tailbone off. Lifting your hips up. Arms are down by your side. Belly button's going to draw to your spine. Start to roll yourself down one vertebrae at a time. Release the tailbone at, bone at the end. So you're coming back into neutral spine. And keeping your heels into parallel, we're going to exhale, press away from the foot bar. And then inhale, bend. Exhale, pressing away. Inhaling to bend. If these springs ever feel like they're too light, add on another spring, usually only a yellow or a blue, so it's a quarter or a half spring. Or if it's too heavy, just take off the blue spring. Exhale, pressing away. Inhaling to bend. Knees are in line with your second toes, nice and controlled as you press away, nice and controlled as you draw the carriage back in. We've just got five more here, find length through the legs, final four, three more here, for two, and your last one here, pressing out all the way. Bend your knees, draw the carriage in, let's place our heels out nice and wide. Allow for a slight external rotation to come from your hips. Again, knees are in line with your second toes. Let's exhale, press away from that foot bar. Inhale to bend. Exhale, finding length. Connecting through your inner thighs and your glutes. You're still going to feel your quads here. Tailbone's heavy. You can try and get both legs extending out at the same time. And then inhaling to bend. Good, guys. Five to go. Your last four, three more here, for two, last one here, exhale, pressing out all the way, bend your knees, draw the carriage in, all we're going to do is place our toes exactly where our heels just were, keep the heels lifted, let's press away from that foot bar, and then inhaling to bend, exhale, finding length, inhaling to bend. Tailbone's still heavy. Reaching long with the legs. Belly button's drawing away from your pant line ever so slightly. Four more. And three. Two. 
two more here, heels are still lifted. Last one, pressing out all the way. Bend your knees, drop the carriage all the way in. You can hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little rock from side to side. And then I want you to curl yourself all the way up. We're just going to take off all of those springs. So we're left with just one blue spring. And that's one half spring. So take off those three reds. We've got one blue. And now we're going to face towards the back of our reformer. So you want your knees up against the shoulder rest, and I want you to walk your hands up along the frame of the reformer so you can grab, on, uh, grab hold of the uprights at the end. Have your bottom lifted off of your heels and your back is nice and straight. We're gonna work into some lat pulls here. As you exhale, you're gonna bend your elbows, float your head further along than the reformer, so the end of the reformer. So your elbows are coming in by your waist, and you're floating that carriage all the way up into the end. And then inhaling to release. Belly buttons drawing to your spine. Shoulders are drawing down your back. Keep working into your back muscles. Keep working into your lats. We've got four more here. And three. Two more here. And final one here, pull yourself all the way up. Slowly release, walk your hands along the frame of the reformer. Tuck your toes and keep your hands wrapping along the frame of the reformer. We're gonna come into a plank position here. So I want you to press into your feet, press into your hands, lift yourself up. Your belly button's drawing to your spine and you keep lifting out of your shoulders. Taking those deep belly breaths. Remember your bottoms down. Keep lifting out of the shoulders, legs are nice and long. So you're energizing through the arms as well as energizing through the legs. If you would like to make it more challenging, I would like you to float your right leg up and just hold it here for five, four, three, two, one. Lower the right leg down, squat to the left, holding here for five, four, three, two, one. Lower the leg. Now, See if you can bend your knees and drag the carriage up to meet your hands. Really use your lower abdominals here. And exhaling and then inhaling. Three more. For two. Final one here. Release. Draw that carriage all the way to the stopper. Bend your knees. Find a child's pose position. That last one's quite challenging. Take a nice deep belly breath. And you're gonna curl or peel yourself up. You can roll out your wrist in one direction. And we're just gonna work into our reverse abdominals. So from here, just have your knees, a shoulder, uh, sorry, a fist width distance away from your shoulder rest. Wrap your hands around the frame of the reformer again. Shoulders are above your wrist. And exhale, let's put the carriage up to meet our hands. Inhaling, and then exhaling. Belly button drawing to your spine. Keep lifting out of the shoulders. We've got five and four. The only thing that's moving is our lower half for three, two. Last one here, keep the carriage up near your hands. Inhale, release two inches. Exhale, draw it up. So it's like a little pulse. Inhaling to release. Exhale, drawing up. We've got six. And five, foot four, three, two, last one here, hold it, and then slowly releasing all the way back up. Well done. Let's roll out our wrists, and we're going to grab hold of our long box. And you're going to place it right up against the side of your reformer, so it's on the ground. And then I want you to step with your right foot in the top right hand corner of your box. Your left foot is going to come up against your shoulder rest. You're still on a blue spring. This is your curtsy lunge. So try, you can even, instead of having your hips straight like that, you can rotate them a little bit out to the left if that feels better for you. Arms are behind your back and keeping your left leg nice and straight 
If you're going to bend your right knee, lean your upper body forward, then exhale, drive up through your right heel, draw the carriage all the way in. Inhaling to bend. Exhale, driving all the way up. Belly button's drawing to your spine, shoulders are down. Hands are behind your back. Keep driving up through your right heel. See if you can start to peel your right toes back to check that your weight is in the heel of your foot and not in the ball of your foot. Inhaling to lower. Exhaling to lift. Belly button's drawing to your spine. Hands are still behind your back. We've got four more here. We've got three. Final two. Last one here. Can we hold it down there? Keeping your weight over on your right leg, you're going to bend and extend your left leg here. Inhaling and then exhaling. You guys have got it. Can you go a little bit deeper? Keep that bend through the right knee. Five to go. And four. Extending that left leg out long for three. Shoulders are down. Two more here. We've got it. Last one. Extend the left leg out nice and long. Drive up through your right leg. Draw the carriage all the way in. And stepping down carefully. You can shake out your right leg. You really start to feel it through your right abductor. Let's pick up that long box. Let's go over to the other side. Place it right up against the frame of your reformer. Remember, we're standing with our left foot now this time in the top left hand corner and the right foot's behind onto the shoulder rest. Keeping your right leg straight, we're just going to bend our left knee, lean our upper body forward. Exhale, drive up through your left heel. Inhaling and then exhaling. Nice and long through the back. Inhaling to lower, exhaling to lift. Shoulders are down, belly button's drawing away from your pant line. Your right leg's still straight. Taking your time with this movement. If you need to take it a little slower, that's okay. Because it is a little challenge on your balance. Inhaling, exhaling, driving up all the way. Starting to feel it kicking. We've got four more here. For three, two more. On this next one, we're gonna hold it down here. Keeping our weight over on our left leg, let's bend and extend through your right. Inhaling and then exhaling here. If it feels nice to put your hands onto your hips, you can do that. Otherwise, keep the hands behind your back. We've got five to go and four. For three, final two. Last one here, keep your right leg extended, drive up through the left heel, draw that carriage all the way in, well done, step down carefully. And if you need to shake out your left leg, you can. Get that blood flowing again. And then we're gonna place our box as a short box on top of your carriage. Let's change over to one red spring. And we'll take off that blue. And then I'll have you sit on top of your box. With your heels, you want them right up against the edge of the box. And think of it like a daytime wedge, not like a stiletto where it's super high. You just want to walk your toes out. So you've got that little height through the heels, but not too much. All right, let's wrap our hands around the frame of the foot. Oh, sorry, around, around the foot bar. We're going to press into our hands, press into our feet, lift our bottom off, extend our legs out nice and long. Keep lifting out of the shoulders. Belly button's drawing to spine. From here, we're gonna to come to our jackrabbits. We're bending and extending through our legs. Nice and strong through the arms. Inhaling and then exhaling here. Lengthening through the legs all the way. We've got four more here. Nice and strong through the arms for three. Two more here. Final one here. Draw the carriage all the way in. Here's a little challenge for your balance. Can you start to lift yourself all the way up? And now you're going to bend your knees. Wrap your hands around the foot bar. Extend your legs out. Bend your knees. Draw the carriage in. 
press your heels into the box. Lift yourself all the way up. And again, lowering down. Exhale, pressing out all the way. Bending. And then driving up through the ball of the feet. And then lowering. We've got three more here. Almost like a little burpee. For two. If you want to lift the hands, you can. So as you start to lift yourself up into that standing position, you can raise your arms up towards the ceiling. Lower yourself down. We've got our last one here. Draw that carriage in. Raising the hands up towards the ceiling. Lowering yourselves down. Let's press back out into that nice plank position. Bring your right leg in. We're going to start running our left leg and our right leg in and out. We've got four more here. And three. Good two. Final one here. Let's swap feet. Exhale, press out. Bend your left knee. And then bend the right knee, extend the left. So we're just running the opposite leg in and out. Three more here. For two. Last one here. Find that box. Sit yourself down carefully. You can roll out your wrists. A bit of shoulder work that one and you would have definitely felt your core activating to keep yourself nice and stable so let's take this box off and we're going to change back to that one blue spring so the box is off we're changing over to one blue spring and we're going to bring our knees right up against the shoulder rest let's grab hold of i grab hold of your long loop and this is less about arm work, it's more about core. So I want you to start to feel your obliques firing on this one. So keeping your hips nice and square and keeping your arms nice and round, shoulders are down. You're going to start by rotating your upper body towards the back of your reformer. From here, I want you to exhale, use your waist. Now draw your upper body towards the foot bar. And then inhale, rotate back. If you're like me, and then just hit the stopper quite quickly, grab hold of your short loop. It'll give you more resistance. I know I did say the long loop, but trying it then, it just didn't feel right. So do what works for you. If it feels better to go for short or for long, then go there, but just make sure that you're feeling your obliques engaging as you rotate through the upper body. If you feel like your hips are opening out, like for example, towards the upright, squeeze your glutes. It'll keep your hips tracking forward. Shoulders are down. Exhale, rotating across. We've got it here. We've got four more. And three. Starting to feel my right obliques. We've got two. And we've got our last one here. Good, let's lower down our long loop. Place it onto your shoulder rest. I'm just going to reach down, grab hold of my other one, but I'm going to grab hold of the short loop this time again. Bring your knees right up against the edge of your shoulder rest. Shoulders are down, hips are square, and your upper body is rotated to the left. On an exhale breath, let's rotate around to face towards the right. Inhaling, exhale, keep working through the waist. I can immediately feel this on my left obliques or through my left obliques. Inhale, opening out. Exhale, rotating across. And initiating this movement from my waist. We've just got four more here. And three. Final two. And our last one here. Bring the hand back or bring, bring the long loop back onto the shoulder pins. Let's change back to just one red ring. Take off that blue. We're going to come into our mermaid position here. So we've got our Z-sit position. Our left hand's coming into the middle of the foot by the shoulders down. We're going to exhale, press away, reach up and over with our right arm. Inhale, come back through center. Always keeping whichever arm is attached to the foot bar nice and long and the shoulder down. Exhale, pressing away. Inhale, coming back through center. The next time that you press away, let's bring the right hand around to the foot bar. 
Rotate the shoulders, widen the grip, press out even further. Lift straight arms, start to lift your gaze. Draw the carriage all the way in. Exhale, press away. And again, inhaling, shoulders are down, arms are straight. Exhale, pressing away. And again, inhaling here. Exhale, press away, hold yourself down here. Make sure that you've got equal pressure through both heels of the hands. You're gonna bend and extend through your arms. Keep that rotation through the back. Your gaze is down towards the springs. You've got four more here. And three, two more. Final one here, lengthen out through the arms. Inhale, start to lift your gaze, draw the carriage all the way into the stopper. Place your right hand onto your shoulder, rest, reach up and over with your left arm. And get that nice stretch through the side of the body, it feels really good. Come back through center and we're gonna flip over to the other side. So an easy way to flip over is just to roll into your bottom, lift your leg up, and then you'll get that Z sit position facing towards the other side. That's only if you get confused when you're turning around with the mermaid. Inhaling, exhale, press away. Right heel of the hands in the middle of the foot by your shoulders are down. Using your breath, getting that movement through the body. The next time that you press away, let's reach up and over with our left arm. You're going to rotate your shoulders, widen your grip, press up even further, keep your arms straight. Inhale, start to lift your gaze, draw the carriage in as much as you can, and then exhale, press away. Inhaling, lifting, shoulders are down. Exhale, pressing away. I can feel my obliques working from the previous video. They're really sore. And then exhale, pressing away, hold ourselves down here. With keeping equal weight through both heels of the hands, let's bend and extend at the elbows. Inhaling, and then exhaling, extending. We've just got four more here. Final three. For two. And your last one here, extend the arms out nice and long. Draw yourself all the way in. Let's park that carriage. Place the left hand onto the left shoulder rest. Reach up and over with your right. Come back through center. And then stepping off of the reformer, just find a little bit of space. You're going to stand with your feet hip width apart, arms are by your side. Let's take a nice deep inhale breath here. As you exhale, let's nudge your chin to your chest. Roll yourself down one vertebrae at a time. Reach your fingertips towards the floor. If you've got tight hemis, you can have a slight bend in your knee. Relax the head. Then start to straighten up through the legs, scooping up through the belly. Restacking up nice and tall. The last thing to lift is your gaze. Inhaling here again. Exhale, nudge your chin to your chest. Roll yourself down. Getting that stretch and release through the back of the legs. If you want to here, you can bend and straighten one leg at a time. Just getting that further of a release through the back of the legs. For five, four, three, two, one. Let's restack up nice and tall. The last thing to lift is your gaze. You're all finished for today. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you again next week for another video. Bye, guys.